Hey, what's up, yous and tubers? Back out wandering the woods, as you do. Well, as I do. Looking for World War II relics and bits and pieces and anything old or anything, really. Just in these woods and found a two inch mortar fuse. Really good condition. It's not too mangled like they usually are. You can even still see the got the arrow there. They should be right in numbers and all the way round, but it's quite corroded on that bit. So I'm not sure if be able to see anything but the actual shape of it is pretty good. I think the reason for that is where I am just at the top of the hill bit, just up here, there's a little pit. And I think they used it, like maybe just after the war, when they were clearing the place up, put all the unexploded mortars, grenades, all things like that in there, and then do a controlled explosion to get rid of them. Trouble is, crap flew everywhere, all over the hills here, must have been. Because I've found stuff here before, so, there could be loads of stuff, but you just don't know. So I'm going to have a wonder if I find anything, I'll let you see. Okay, I was going to show you the pit, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. There's a lot of, like, falling down trees, and a lot of cut trees, like a lot of movement going on, so... Not really sure where it is, but, uh... It's another find, though. There's a big lump of a three inch mortar. Got the threads down that end where the fuse would screw in. Just been blown apart though. mortar fuse for a three inch or a four inch pretty beaten up just found another 303 but this one is right by the pit and that looks like it's pretty much been blown up with it Dated 1943. And the primer is missing. It's found another 303. Brain gun again. 1942. And these ones are made in America. The WRA, if I can remember, stands for Winchester Repeating Arms. So it's like part of the Lend-Lease Agreement, I think. So look at this, up. I'm right on the track. I'm just there buried. Well, it's exposed now. A 303 bullet. That's probably been run over by farm vehicles for years, hundreds of times.
You're saved, you're saved. That's a Bakelite fuse to uh, certain types of grenade, like the uh, number 69 percussion grenade, called an anytime fuse. So when you throw it, magic happens inside. And the minute it hits something, it explodes. Like when it hits the ground, it just explodes. Which that one obviously has done. Blown to pieces. Okay, so this little area, like right immediately here, is where a brain gunner set up. Because there is just 303s everywhere. You'll usually find that if you find one brain gun shell, then you should look around that media area because there's probably going to be more. In a lot of cases, a lot more. And that's not even all of them on that little spot. Another Bakelite fuse, but this one is intact. It's got some metal left around the... Oh, well, it did have. Yeah, so that's from a smoke grenade. Can't remember what number. But it'd be about... That big. Just lob it and then a lot of smoke. Cool. So what we were just talking about, what we just found, that fuse, that would go onto one of them. Obviously this one's flattened, but that's the body of a smoke grenade. That's a detonator. And that fuse would just screw into there, the top. Okay, so we found the fuse, we found a bit of the body, and now we found the protective cap. Ooh, it's a nice one too. Two four seven mark one. We get our uh, fuse out. Get our fuse, get our cap. Screw right back on together. Nice. Okay, and that's it. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna head out here in a minute. Just gonna show you some things I found in the last few minutes, which I didn't record. Just some 303 bullets, some 
piece of uh, grenade, like the inside pieces, bits of bake like you've seen them already. And the last find of the day, a number 36 Mills bomb spoon or lever, whichever you want to call it. Steel, so they're real rusty, but still cool find. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to head out. Thanks for watching. If you want to leave a comment, leave a comment. If you don't, then don't. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one.